What's going on everyone, it's PantherVision and today we have a guide on every TR location in Pokemon Tundra. The DLC is finally here and the raid system with the rental Pokemon is a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying it. I think the Pokemon company did this right. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. If this video helps in any way, if I can get you guys to hit the like button and for more guides on your favorite games, make sure to sub to the channel. But without further ado, let's jump into it. Our first TR cosmic power is really close to the main entrance to the max layer. From the entrance, it'll be directly behind a large boulder. TR Gunk Shot can be found in Freezing Town. From the freeze-in, all you have to do is walk down a hidden path across from the building and you'll find it. From the entrance of the freeze-in, once more, turn left. Go behind the building where you find Sonya and there you'll find TR Amnesia. The first TR in the giant's bed will be right outside the iron ruins. Walk up the stairs and you'll find TR Flash Cannon. From the back exit of Freezing Town, head through the frost point field until you get to the giant's bed. Hang to the left following the trail until you come across a small lake. Ride onto the water, up the path and you'll find TR Encore. Last one in the giant's bed is Stone Edge. This TR can be found right outside the entrance to the Rock Peak Ruins. In the old cemetery inside the second concrete broken down building is my favorite TR, Shadow Ball. Our first TR in Balamir Lake from the bottom exit of the Lakeside Cave, follow the trail until you can go down the path Turn left, follow the trail again, and eventually you'll find TR Substitute. Coming down from the Dino Tree, take a right, And then another right into the lake. Continue straight until you find an island. On the island is Energy Ball. Next to the Dino Tree, going left is Brave Bird. Once you enter the giant's foot from the giant's bed, cross the non-avoidable grass, then the river. Behind the broken down cement wall is TR Dark Pools.
coming from the giant's foot into the roaring cave, across the river. Follow the trail till you reach a fork. Take an immediate right and you'll find Leech Life. I accidentally grabbed this one off camera, but the location is spot on. Entering the Roaring Cave Seas from Three Point Pass, turn right, down the dead end, and you'll find Earthquake. From the entrance of Frigid Sea, take a left down the path. You'll find the entrance to the Roaring Cave. Inside will be Dazzling Gleam. Once you enter Three Point Pass, turn left to find Split Decision Ruins. Outside the door to the left and right will be Outrage and Thunder. Going up Snow Slide Scope at the top of the hill to the right, behind the old broken down building is Close Combat. Heading towards Iceberg Ruins, hidden behind an ice pillar is Ice Beam. Entering the tunnel to the top, go up until you pass the snow part of the path. After you pass the snow pass, take a left, follow the trail until you get to a dead end and there you'll find TR Fire Blast. Next up is Alley Switch. Starting from the entrance of the tunnel to the top, follow the path in the video and you'll find it. Our final TR location is at the top of the Crown Shine. To the right, up the path, you'll find Psychic. And that's gonna wrap up this TR guide. Let me know in the comment section below if this guide helped you guys. If it does, if I can get you guys to hit that like button, that'd be appreciated. Make sure you sub to the channel for future guides on your favorite games. I'm Panther Vision, and I'm out. Peace.